Okay, uh, we are group T4E, and our group is doing systolic array based um, matrix to matrix multiplication. And our group number are uh, Yi Lu, Ziling, Kaling, and also Winchester. So, systolic uh, matrix to matrix multiplication has lots of like applications. For example, in computer graphics, like doing ray tracing requires a uh, large amount, like large scale matrix to matrix multiplication, and also the physics and engineering simulations. For example, you can like use a matrix matrix multiplication to do some like stress and strain simulation for different materials and also other implementation for different areas. So our baseline design is like a bit like a most easy part of the matrix matrix multiplication. We basically um calculate uh, output matrix by multiplying one row of matrix A and one row of matrix B and output the value of matrix C, like everyone knows. So here is our implementation, like three, four loops for uh, the first two or four loops for um, what's that called? Uh, the, the row and the columns like counting and the innermost uh, four loop is calculating um, like how many, like how many uh, multiplications we need for each accumulation. And we, the second, second design we tried is tidying. So basically you, we, you like subdivided the, in the matrix into sub blocks, and each sub blocks that you, you can see on the upper right has like um two rows from A, two columns from B, and you just calculate the results and store in a sub block of in the output like upper left, and similarly for B, C, and D. And we for here we have like two additional variables, so M block size and O block size stands for a uh, number of rows and number of columns for each sub blocks. And here's our implementation. As you can see, we have two two more like four loops to iterate us through each sub blocks dimension. And we have like uh, our repartition to partition both A, B, and all matrix like completely to increase the number of array elements that can be read or write each clock cycles to reduce memory latency. And we also have like uh, HRS on row here to increase like to optimize in some level of parallelism. Uh, however, for both baseline and uh, tiling, uh, we cannot achieve the full like like full accumulation because there are some like interdependency between uh, different calculations. So that's why we our final design is systolic array based um, matrix matrix multiplication. So basically systolic array based matrix matrix multiplication is a network of testly coupled processing units or processing elements uh, shown as a blue block um, here. Uh, so basically the each the P, each of the PE calculates, like do some simple calculations that were like one multiplication for it, for instance, and it simply passes the, like the BK0 to next neighbor, like Z10K and the A0K to Z01K and to, uh, like allows them to do other um like um, multiplication at different places in our output matrix uh there's no in t uh, like dependencies between PEs. um maybe there's some dependencies inside PEs. however uh no dependency between PEs means we can achieve a hundred percent parallel or task level parallelism to like 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 increase the speed of our calculation in a very large like amount. So here's how the data has been passed. So it, the first one is A14, B41 plus to the upper left, and then like waveform like waveform fashion to pass all other data into our systolic array. Oh uh, here's our PE. So this PE stands for the blue block as we shown before. So each PE has four arguments, two inputs, two outputs. Uh, and all of them are HLS stream. Uh, the reason we use the HLS stream is because we don't want like to do to do much with uh, memory access, which took a lot of time. So we basically pre preload our matrix A and matrix B into uh like FIFOs, and then calculate the like we have a temporal um argument uh, like a variable called a queue. So basically we store the value into the queue and pass those uh, A value and B value to the to this PE's neighbor. 
And finally, after the number of iterations we want to do, we just return the accumulation, which is our final results in like some places in our output matrix. Uh, here's our, uh, so this is a general type of PE, which has four arguments. Uh, here is like another type, which is PEH. Uh, that's like listed here on the edge condition because we don't need to pass anything to the, like to is this P's, uh, this is like column neighbors. So we basically has only one output five folds, which is output A and we only write there. This is a vertical one. We only pass horizontally here. So we write output B, right? And other places are all the same. And P and is P now means it doesn't have any neighbors need to pass the, like the five folds. Other the values from the matrix A and matrix B is the lower left, a uh, lower right, like P. So we basically calculate a cube and return the cube. And here's our like top level function. We first initialize the um <clears throat> five folds by reading the uh matrix A and matrix B in both horizontal and vertical five fold, which is our input A and input B. Uh and then besides the two four loops that like regular two four loops for row and the columns, we have a some condition to um calculate the positions of our P's. And then basically we just like um Use uh, for different places we use different PEs, P, P, H, P, V, and P, N. And also we do data flow and unroll the inner loops to achieve the full parallelism, like task level parallelism. That is to say, all the PEs are calculating in parallel and there's no dependency between them. So we can achieve very fast calculation. So here's the evaluation result of a 12 by 12 matrix multiplication. So baseline is basically like, of latency is one time speed up. And tiling is uh, like a little bit faster, but due to we have like two additional for loops and we only unroll them and there's not much speed up. The most important part is systolic array. We have like almost 12 times of like speed up. This is because our systolic array size is only the common dimension between two matrices, which is 12 in this case. So um, uh, basically, uh, for a baseline to calculate a matrix matrix multiplication, it requires 12 times 12 times 12. So it's like, um, um, like some number, like if you divide it by only 12, that's 12 times 12. So we have like 12 times speed up. So that is to say, if we have a much larger, uh, matrix, like a hundred by a hundred, we, we will have like much more speed up than the baseline because uh for a hundred we only need a hundred operations for systolic array but for baseline we need a hundred times a hundred times a hundred which is a million number of multiplications with any optimizations so uh next year we will uh show a demo of how we put this onto the z board yeah hi uh so i'm counting on the fpj so you can see my terminal uh, this is uh, on the Xanix, uh, Linux, and then let me run the host program on the FPJ. Um, as you can see, you can get the correct result from the FPJ side. Uh, but one thing very interesting is that the FPJ calculation is actually slower than ARM speed because we need to do a lot of handshakes between the ARM side and the FPJ side through the XE bus. And we need to pass each element from the matrix A and the matrix B to from the ARM side to the FPGA side. And um, because our matrix size is very, very small, so most of the time is wasted on these handshakes. But if we have a large matrix, we can achieve substantial speed up compared to the ARM side. Yeah, okay. So that's basically our presentation. Thank you.